Good morning, CHS. I'm Matt. And I'm Zach, and this is Columbia Cougar News. The next week is midterms. If you don't know the schedule by now, you should probably listen up. On Tuesday, periods 5, 8, and 9 meet. On Wednesday, periods 6 and 1 meet. On Thursday, periods 7 and 2 meet. And on Friday, periods 4 and 3 meet. Students should not report for their lunch period or study halls. If any student is looking for a place to study for midterms, the Maplewood Library is offering quiet spaces through Thursday from 2.30 to 6 p.m. MacBooks are available to use with your student ID or Maplewood Library card, and you can print up to 20 pages free. Dr. Bustron has a field trip opportunity to see Six on Broadway later this year. Six is a British musical which is a modern retelling of the lives of the six wives of Henry VIII. The wives take turns telling their story to see who suffered the most at Henry's hand. See Dr. Bustrin in D16 for details and a permission slip. Seats are limited and she needs the money by February 15th to secure the tickets. The pop-up prom shop is now accepting donations. Please help by donating new or gently used clothing and accessories. Drop-off locations are at Gleason's in Maplewood and Byright in South Orange. Send any questions to this email. Quarter 3 PE opt-out forms are due by Friday. And a reminder for all seniors and senior parents, yearbook ads and tributes are due by the end of this month. And now, here is CCN's tribute to Martin Luther King in honor of yesterday's holiday. Hello, my name is Dr. Kalisha Morgan. I am interim principal here at Columbia High School. And I'm here to talk about Dr. Martin Luther King. I think that, um, for me, Martin Luther King is important because he always talked about equality and the rights of all people. He didn't just want equal rights for black people, white people, or any other religion. He said everyone. I, I really liked his, his, his message, his message of love and his message of peace, um, his message of getting what's right for everyone. And I like that he did it in a nonviolent approach. Many of us uh, think that in order to get our point across, we have to be, uh, you know, violent or disrespectful. And he was not that. He, he showed us how to love everyone. And even though he was disrespected, he was never disrespectful. He was hit. He had dogs put on him. He had water hoses put on him. He was jailed. He was beaten. And he never, ever retaliated. He just continued to preach his message of equal rights, equality, for all people in a nonviolent way. Those are all your announcements for today, CHS. Please make sure you listen to the PA all week for any updates. I'm Zach. And I'm Matt. And have a great week, CHS. Bodied. You can kids take a note? Should yeah. be taking notes.